Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're stamping Christmas cards using Hero Arts color layering fawn stamps in two ways, traditional and modern. Hi everyone, I'm Yana Smakula and I'm hoping you will love this video. Today we'll be making two completely different style Christmas cards using exactly the same supplies. You're watching the color layering series and in this episode we're taking a closer look at the new color layering font set from Hero Arts and creating traditional and also modern Christmas cards. One uses only inks and another one uses embossing powders. I'm starting here by stamping the deer outline image and sentiment in Cup of Joe dark brown ink onto white cardstock panel. I'm also going to stamp the same images in clear sticky Versamark ink onto deep blue cardstock for a completely different end result. I've treated my paper with an anti-static powder tool and you want to do that every time you do your heat embossing. I've inked up the images and I'm going to cover those with Hero Arts gold embossing powder. Gold always looks fabulous on deep blue, so you can't go wrong using this color of embossing powder on this color of cardstock. I'm preheating my heat tool and once it's good and hot, I'm going to go ahead and melt the powder in place. I'm working on two cards at the same time as they are using not only the same images, but also the same image placement. And since I am using my stamping tool today, Mini Misty, it makes sense to work on both of them at the same time. Let's go back to the first project. I'm now going to stamp the most solid layer of the deer image using the lightest color of ink that I've selected, soft brown. It's easy to align and now we have a beautiful speckled detail to our deer or to our fawn. I'm going to stamp the same image or layer on my blue panel, but again I'm stamping this in clear embossing ink. This time I'm going to use clear embossing powder for a tone on tone look. So I'm still using the same deer image, but because I have other colors of cardstock and because I'm using embossing powder here instead of ink, the result is completely different. It looks a lot more modern and trendy. I'm done with my blue panel for now and I'm going to set it aside. I'm going back to my white panel and I still have one detail layer to stamp here. I'm using caramel ink to add some shading to the fawn. Although if you prefer, you can definitely keep yours as is. I personally often skip using layers when I play with my color layering images just to have different results. The fawn stamp set comes with a little holly and berry images. So I'm stamping those below and also above my deer using moss and forever green inks for the leaves and royal red ink for the berries. To add some interest to the background of this card, I'm also adding some scoring using my scoring board and scoring tool. And this is just adding some embossed or rather debossed detail to all of the white space that I have in the background. Now I'm not scoring the entire panel, I, I'm just scoring where the white space is, where there is no stamping. This panel is done for the most part, so I'll just adhere it onto an A2 white card base and embellish it with a champagne sequence later. To help my other panel stand out, I'm going to add some ink blending. First, I'm blending the navy ink around the edges. Now this particular ink color is not going to show much on this deep blue cardstock. So I'm also adding black ink to intensify the edges of my panel even more and drive the eye of the viewer to the center of this panel to all of that beautiful heat embossing. You'd think that you can only do color layering using inks, but you can in fact color layer with embossing powders as well. I also stamped, colored and cut out holly leaves for this card. I did that on white paper to have a nice vibrant green colors. But I don't want to have that white outline show on my finished card, so to hide that, I'm using my Copic marker in B99 to color around my stamping. Now I did use Hero Arts Moss Ink, which is a hybrid ink, and hybrid inks are Copic marker friendly. So my ink is not going to bleed here because it comes in contact with alcohol from my marker. The blue marker that I picked doesn't match 100% to the cardstock that I'm using, to the color, but it does a pretty good job of hiding those white edges and helping the die cut blend with the rest of the background. It's a neat trick if you are working with colored cardstock and don't want your white die cuts to have a white outline to them. 
I hope you'll give this idea a try using these or other stamps from your stash. If you do, remember to share online and tag us on social media. We love seeing what you guys are making. On the screen, there is a link to a playlist with all of my color layering card videos. Subscribe now not to miss any new card making tutorials. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.